Hi family, this is the luck mom here. Deborah Nchuka is my name. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia and I create awareness on what happens in the Middle East. I told you last time there is an agent in Kenya who is having a deal with Saudi Arabia boss, Wauze Kidney Amstana Moja. So the lady reached me out last week. I've been doing investigation for the whole of last week. So Nikasema, this is serious. Let me reach this agent. Nimulize, how true is this? The lady explained very well. I'm going to share her audios. She told me this lady, the agent in Kenya, they have a deal with her boss. Wauze kidini yake na mepeleko hospital marambili. Amefanyiwa tests na mefanyiwa injection marambili. So, uh, walienda kwa hospitali moja, Wana, wana, wana sema they are willing to pay 300,000 300, Saudi reals. That is 12 million. About 12, over 12 million Kenyan money. Another hospital, they are saying they are willing to pay 500,000 Saudi reals. That is over 20 million Kenyan money. So this lady, alijaribu kujitetea sana. Akasema oh mimi sijui hata namba ya bosi wake sijawahi ongea na yeye but huyu msichana confirmed very well that huyu anaongea na boss na hata kuna wakati alikuwa na tatizo huyu agent ndio anaongeanga na boss lakini alikuwa anasema mimi sijui namba ya bosi wake sijawahi ongea na yeye but huyu boss huyu agent saa anafikiria tu sasa tutakuwa tunamuogopa there are some things we need to them to come to an end there's some dark business between agents and sponsors that they they must come to an end. So this lady, kazi yake ni kunitishia. Ananiambia oh, kwanza ulikuwa umenianika last time, tutakutana kotini. I'm like, madam, this is somebody's life we are talking about. You want to say somebody's kidding. So unyamanze, so ananitishia kuwa ni nyamanze ama ama tukutane kotini na huyo msichana atapelekwa kwa jela. So they have started intimidating the girl. She's in the same house. Wameanza kumu intimidate. Like, awataki ya wangewe msana, she's willing to die. Na ukweli. It's better me and the lady, we rot in jail, but we save lives. She's like, anajaribu kunike jeli. Like, saa wende umekuja, sasa unasaidia wa mama. Yeah. It is me. And let me tell you, there's nothing you're going to do. We can meet in court. We have the evidence. You've been communicating with the boss of this lady. But umeko ukijitetea. So she went to an extent of creating a WhatsApp group with her ladies. When you wamefunguka macho walinyambia like mom see what is happening here. So anafungua group ya WhatsApp ya kujitetea mapema kwa wale wasano nyameuza. Maybe you are the next one. You are the next one na ujui. So we are not going to fear agents who are doing dark businesses. Hiyo nayo tusidanga nyane. Do what you want, number one. And that lady must be rescued. Yes, rescue her and take her to jail. But, mwachie maisha yake. And there's no way I'm going to keep quiet. Because next, na kuja na picha yako, na kuja na ofisi yako, na majina yako kamili. So that, useme kama iyo ni uongo. Kwa sababu, there's no way unaweza mua ku wachilia msichana wa wenyewe unamfanyia biashara za giza and then uko hapo unasema fanya vile tutakutana kotini tutakutana kotini we are not going to fear you madam we won't fear you you go to kotini kwanza okwa maisha ya ule msichana ambaye hiyo deal yenu lazima itaapot it won't succeed hiyo deal iwezi succeed haiwezi succeed that is somebody's daughter. Unasema atikuwa ni hiyo msana kwa special aje. Sini mepeleka wasana marambili tatu. Kama yuko special. Why are you making this, this deal? Some, eh, siyo kila agent anapelekanga msana Saudi Arabia. Haenda kufanya kazi kama housemaid. The lady ya kona four months ya maliza contract. Lakini ila matasa anapitia. Wali mnyanganya simi yake. Wakachukua laini zake za Kenya wakavunja vunja. Wakampea simu ingine inye wana monitor na yo. Anapewa for only one hour. Ana, anaitumia under supervision so kila kitu anafanya imetrakiwa but she said enough is enough she is ready to die for the truth 
na lazima if you happen to see this video share it widely because i'm bringing that lady here hata hata kama kesi itapelekwa kotini watu wa wa media nyinyi nyote mkuje you mushike live vile inaendelea so that agencies kuna agents wengine wanafanya biashara za giza na wako hapa kushinda kutishia watu do this you will see do this you will see how we not fear an agent i will not fear you and then wale wasana wenye mnakuwa brainwashed sasa unaona kama kama uko sawa why did you, your your girls came to me kuniambia what you are doing in your group kama wana kuamini uko sawa si kwa sababu they are the next victims so i'm not going to keep quiet this one ionekane so tukutane pale kotini with evidence i have all the evidence kila kitu huyu msichana na intimidatewa atujui kama atatoka kwa hiyo nyumba kiwa mzima but she has to be rescued period